It's the first week of October, and it's tournament time. The big ones. We're talking league finals, the international. It's all coming at you. Another weekly recap. All right, what up, friends? Welcome to another episode of the Esports Awards Weekly Recap with FDOT. I'm your host, FDOT, and starting off at the top, we've got the Dota International on the docket. One of the biggest tournaments, period. One of the biggest Dota tournaments, obviously, yearly. It's the Big Kabam. Usually millions of dollars on the line this year, no exception. $40 million up for grabs. A live tournament in Bucharest, Romania. Unfortunately, Valve has officially announced there won't be a live audience. However... Everything else intact, still the same teams, tournaments, and everything else. You want to check out all the action, see who winds up on the top, take you home again. $40 million. It's just insane, man. But <laughs> going from Dota to Counter Strike, we're about halfway through the qualifiers for the PGL Major Stockholm. Uh, this one will have a live audience, so definitely if you have the opportunity to go see live Counter Strike in Sweden, do so. It's awesome. And so are Navi and Gambit. They're the first two to reach legend status. Uh, moving over to Smash, though, Low Tide City. We see MK Leo work the ultimate bracket in a fun tournament, one that we haven't really seen in a long time with respects to ultimate. And then Ginger comes down and beats Axe in the melee bracket. Axe makes it out on the top side. Bracket reset has to go the way of Ginger. So nice performance from everybody involved. Shouts to melee. Cool seeing good stuff work in that world. But I said the word, and so we'll talk about it. Worlds. League of Legends World Championships. One of the biggest dots on a lot of esports fans' calendars. 22 teams going at it, and we are locked and loaded. Group A, we've got a cool LPL versus LCK matchup. China and Korea looked at as two stronger regions in the world of League of Legends. So a lot of fun looking at individual players in and out and looking at some of the details in that region. Looking at Group B, Cloud9. Listen, not always the uh, fan favorite, but still. There's a chance, and they've done a good job of avoiding a lot of the trouble on the big side of the big regions, but the emerging talent also very strong. That's going to do it for us this week. I hope to see you next week. If you're rooting for any of these teams, let us know. We might even put you in the recap itself. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Peace and much love to you.